early 2003, I became obsessed with the Chevy Impala SS from 1995 to 1996. It came with a 5.7 liter V8 four-speed automatic, rear-wheel drive, and a hefty curb weight slightly north of 4,000 pounds. To me, the 260 horsepower and 330 foot-pounds of torque at nearly 18 feet in length was something I had to have. I found this car on eBay with nearly 80,000 miles in South Florida with sun-baked paint. Now, 12 years later, with over 221,000 miles on the clock, spending all her life outdoors in New York City and used as my official detailing practice panel for almost every new formula I make, I think I owe her a new paint job. But at nearly 3,000 to 8,000 for a quality paint job, it's just not an option for me at this point. So what are the other choices? That's where rail performance coatings comes in. On this episode, we're gonna paint my Impala with the new rail system, but will it work on your car? Find out today on this episode of Drive Clean. So you're a certified rail uh, installer, and before we get into all the steps and everything that Mark's doing back there, give me a little information about where this sits on the spectrum of, let's say, Plasti Dip, coatings, and then maybe a $10,000 crazy paint job. Where, where does this fit in? Yeah, so I would, say, I would say the middle of the road, I would say that rail is a, the high level performance coating uh, in the rubberized world or the industry. Um, it's, a, it's a coating designed by automotive guys for the automotive world. Okay. Uh, Plasti Dip originally was intended as a product that'll recoat an old pair of pliers, and then people started applying it to their vehicles as they saw it was peelable. Okay. St it still does its job, great product, but this is the next level or a cut above, uh, say, Plasti Dip. Now, in terms of time, where does this, again, that spectrum, are we talking two weeks to do this, 10 minutes, like maybe in the driveway? Where are you with rail? How long does it take to do that? So for a rail car, if you drop, to, if you drop your car off at Friday morning to us at Custom Coatings, Saturday afternoon, Sunday morning, we'd be done. It takes approximately two full days to do a job, depending on the car and the complexity and exactly what we're doing. Okay, and in terms of price, what percentage are we at? Uh, is, it, is it closer to that? you know, $10,000 job or is it more like $30 can? Where, where are you in Right, this? I would compare it more to a vinyl. So in the vinyl world, we're probably about a quarter of the price of a vinyl wrap job. So if I wanted to change the color of my car from black to purple to pink to blue to red, I could get all those in for the same exact cost. Exactly, and one other thing that's nice to add on that is once you have mm -hmm. a core substrate down on your car of say black or another color, you already have a nice foundation built up and you can actually spray on top of that create additional layers and the car becomes even more peelable and more elastic so it's easier to remove down the road. You were telling me a little bit before that there's a actual clear uh, rail system, meaning sort of mimicking the clear bra. What, tell me. Exactly. So rail has a complete color lineup from your reds, blues, green, all your traditional colors, pearls, etc. Now they have a high gloss clear, a matte clear, and a satin clear. Uh, what we do in the off season is a lot of wheel protection and front bumper protection for some of our high end cars that would mimic say a 3M clear bra. So we have a high gloss clear coat that we would cover for the front end, say the front bumper or fenders or a hood that would protect against, you know, if you have a track car or even if you're just doing daily winter driving from snow, salt or sand. In terms of prepping, what, what do I need to do? I mean, the car's been washed by me, but short of that, do we need to sand it? Do we need, what do we need to? No, no sanding uh, for anything. I mean, occasionally if the vehicle's finished, you can, you can sometimes wet sand. Uh, that no actual sanding on the vehicle body itself. Um, prep work is typically, you want to do some kind of like a dawn degreaser. Are we going to use any alcohol or, or uh, denatured yeah. alcohol? Yeah, once we're finished taping off all the uh, areas we don't want to paint, we'll, we'll, we'll hit it with a denatured alcohol wipe and be ready to spray. All right, so what about this thing here? This has been gross for many, many years since I've owned it. See this little plastic piece? We're going to paint right over it. You can paint this as well? Yep. So you got chrome, plastic, well, and since we're doing paint. black, uh, it's going to be real easy. We're going to go ahead and do your wipers. We're going to do your uh, your cow vent here as well, too. Um, we're even going to do some of your rubber and your trim. I guess what I should have asked is what can't you paint? Hmm, what can't you paint? Let me get something off my chest. And before I get a thousand YouTube comments, I have to be totally honest. When I first heard about the rail liquid vinyl wraps, 
I thought it was similar to traditional Plasti Dip where you can apply it basically anywhere, your garage, driveway, workshop, whatever. As I came to understand it a little better, I learned it's ideal to apply rail coatings in a spray booth with an exhaust fan and ventilation similar to that of a body shop. Although it's different than normal paint, having a controlled environment is best, and it also needs to be installed by a professional. That point escaped me, and for that, I apologize to the viewers. Nonetheless, as they say, the show must go on. So we managed to build a containment area and use a heavy exhaust filter and ventilation fan to work safely and efficiently. We'll start with a uh, like a light tack coat. That'll prevent the material from running, um, give it something to bond to. We'll do probably one, two, three at most tack coats, followed by four or five wet coats. Okay, and then after that? After that, it's ready to untape and we're finished. That's it? That's it. As Mark applies the tack coats, it's important to understand this is the foundation of the liquid coating, and skipping this step would lead to paint runs and a poor quality finish. All right, so show me your tools. What do we got here? Okay, so for the, uh, the Zytec system, we typically use a, a higher end spray gun, uh, something in the lines of, of a SATA jet. This particular unit is a, uh, a 4000B RP digital. Uh, tip size typically ranges from 1.5 to 1.8. Uh, and we typically recommend all the users or installers to have a compressor style setup, something that uh, has the ability to achieve, achieve you know, 17 to, to 20 PSI for spraying. Okay. Right now we have probably about three to four more coats left. Uh, we have about a gallon and a half of product on the car right now. So what we're gonna do is finish the rest of the gallon and a half. Uh, Mark now has enough product on the car that we can spray nice, thick, wet coats. Basically, if you spray uh, any type of dry coat or coats that have little pinholes or atomization, it won't dry completely smooth. Mm -hmm. So Mark's gonna get the whole car fully wet, uh, and when it dries and self-levels, it'll look exactly like vinyl. So we're basically about half done. Correct, yep. It looks pretty, pretty good so far. After a few short hours, they were done with three tack coats and three wet coats. What's really interesting is that the dry time is only one hour. And immediately afterwards, you can wash it, wipe it, and even wet sand it to change its look. All the while being removable, which in my opinion is pretty cool. The coating is still a little wet right now. Um, that is the best time to go ahead and start unmasking everything. You can get a nice, finer, peel line around your edges and your tape lines, doing it while it's still a little wet. If you wait too long, two days, three days, the coating can be completely cured, a little bit harder to peel off the, uh, the mask. Now are we actually gonna wash it? I think you mentioned that before. Yes, we're gonna wash it right now. A quick wash, and then after that, you're good to go. You're good to go. Wow. That's it. All right, so let's go. All right. As we peeled the tape off, I could really see why this product is so unique. The liquid vinyl felt smooth to the touch, but was stronger than products I've used in the past and at the same time able to be stretched and removed easily. It's so durable that it's able to withstand regular car washing. Dare I say, mechanical washes too. I'm absolutely shocked how good this looks and how strong it actually is, all the while being removable. If you change your mind and you wanna switch colors or even finishes, you can simply peel it and start over. But the most appealing aspect to me is that this process is a fraction of the cost and time of traditional body shop paint jobs. Now, having said that, will it replace the need for a $10,000 paint job? The answer is absolutely not, but it's a very cool option for those car guys seeking a more creative yet less expensive solution to a traditional repaint. As always, if you have any questions, shoot me an email at larry at ammonyc.com. How am I supposed to drive this? Hey, someone watching me? No. Yep. Can't see what's going on. Get off. Shit, I almost fell out of the thing. <laughs> 